New Horizons, Mr. Baxter. Sorry. That's what it's called. It symbolises the coming together of the three schools. That, at any rate, is what Mr. Glover claims. Oh, Mr. Glover. I want to know he'd have a hand in it somewhere. He's a parent governor, Jack, not some sort of saboteur. You wait till the kids see that, then you talk to me about sabotage. I mean, look at it. Well, it's a challenge. That thing is an open invitation for him to get up to some sort of mischief. Well, maybe Mr. Glover sees school children in a different light. At any rate, we can't hold him personally responsible when he was simply donating it to us on behalf of the local Rotarians. Yeah, but did we ask for it? No. I understand it was originally commissioned for the new shopping precinct, but certain people felt it to be out of keeping with the spirit of commerce. Certain people? It was due to stand outside Mr. Glover's car spare shop. Oh, 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 it's that man again. You're trying to tell me he's not personally responsible for that thing? I mean, who accepted it on our behalf? Mr. Humphreys. New Horizons, eh? So what does our art-loving headmaster think of it now, in situ, as it were? <laughs> he hasn't seen it yet. Oh, crept in by another door, has he? He has yet to creep in at all this morning, by the look of things. Not here yet, on the first day back. Talk about style as you mean to go on. Now, now, he may have some perfectly valid reason for being late again. <laughs> morning, Mr. Griffiths. Oh, good morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning. All right. Kid thinks he's old. You gonna do something about him, Vince? Me and Trevor might. Me and Trevor. Stay up there. What is it to you? Nothing. I'd like to keep your mouth shut. You can keep me mouth shut. I said shut, not shut. Melda, come on, it's your idea. I'm warning you. I'm shaking. <laughs> well, he said in that film while coming back to find you. She ain't. Well, what's she doing over there then? Where? In the pond, having a paddle. <laughs> oh, funny. How on earth is it? <laughs> well, I mean, last time. You mean it's not Furman? Don't be silly, Kev. It's Humphreys. He's had it done to remind us what he looks like. You two are stupid. No, it's definitely Humphreys. It's got his nose. One thing for sure, it certainly ain't old Rowley. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> Just about. I thought you was going to say something. I didn't dare at me mouth and I killed myself laughing. <laughs> what does he look like? Let's <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much. Woo! I thought it was street all. It's not bad, do not it? Smart, I haven't heard it. A few weeks, listen, I've just been over the old site for nothing. How come no one told me we serve in somebody over here? Because I need all the stuff I've read for the first morning. So we've all got to be crammed that poky little wall. I'm having two assemblies, Emma. One for us and one for the juniors. Just like last year. We've all got next tenants about it. You will odd, didn't? No, the person must have it in for you. He deliberately slung yours away. I wasn't aware I was talking to you. Free country, in it. I didn't say it was. Well, I don't need your permission to talk, do I? You make me sick at times. Oh, you don't exactly give me an appetite. Your turn off things, Emma. Stop stirring, Kev. So you packed him up then, have you? I'll mind your own business, Balon. Oh, what did I do? Here, Robbie. What? Come here, will ya? Just come here. Hey, what's happening between Zamo and Jackie? Why well, ask me? She's your sister. Don't mean she tells me anything, though. I don't expect her to. But you've got eyes. You must notice things now and again. Should have known better. Hey, was that right? And it's not coming back to Grange Hill. My mum's got married again. They've moved away to Milton Keynes. Oh, wow. Furman will really love it there. <laughs> Hurry up. Where are you going to put it anyway? Chris, Look, it's that Imelda Davis. 
Just walk past, don't say nothing. I won't if you don't say nothing to me. Ronnie, don't. I ain't scared of her. You ought to be. She's mental. I still ain't scared of her. Get ready. Now. Where's the pot? I'm tight. Wriggly. You dropped it then. That's a light frog you've got then. My, my. What big eyes you've got. That's cool. Put it back. Oh, you'll do what? Just put it back, right? I'll tell you where I will put it. No, hey. you won't. You're going to be sorry for that. You two all right? I hate that. I hate messing around with animals. So do I. And I hate to see girls fighting and all. Two sisters are always attacking each other. They at the school? No, no. Ashley said she, she just started her A-levels. Her kids were in all levels in June. But her kids? Is she out another sister? She's 15. They're both staying in Liverpool with me, Auntie. I'll tell them the exams. Liverpool, is that where you're from? Be bad bum wouldn't think so, would you? I'm not from Yorkshire, Divvy. All right, Ronnie, you must sound funny to him. Yeah, you do. Don't you like yourself, then? Well, give us a chance. We've been down here since August. That's why I had my chance to get a uniform. But I like certain parts of London, though. I'm fancy yourself, do you? I'm Ziggy. <laughs> She's blushing. Shut up, Ronnie. Oh, well, I was a smart one. Look at him. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, <laughs> he's <laughs> chatting up Donna and the balls. He's welcome. That ain't the point. He's taking liberties. We're going to have him, Trev. We'll never do something about it by the looks of it. Come in. I'm sorry, yet. No, I've telephoned his home. Mrs Humphrey says he left at 7.30. It's a 20-minute journey, 30 minutes at the most. Perhaps his car's broken down. Well, surely you'd have phoned in. Well, I don't know. Cars can break down in some awkward places. Mm. Well, our immediate problem is assembly. Do you want me to? No, it's all right. I'll take it. All right. Lines and no talking. Come head shift. Hey up. Come head shift. You're not in our class. How do you know? You weren't in it last year. Because we weren't here last year. What class are you? E2 or R2? Don't you push them onto us, right? You shut your face, baby. You're gonna make me. Come along now. Get yourselves into your correct form. Groupings. R2 E2. R2 E2. He was in Star Wars, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, time five. Let's set an example and file out quietly, shall we? You two, Banks. Banks? Sir? The top lip lad, there's something on it. <laughs> that'll do. That'll do. It's a moustache, sir. It's a what? Brave attempt, but I think you'd be well advised to get rid of it. It's up to me, innit? Now then, Banks, Mr. Kennedy's asking you nicely. You're a fifth former now, aren't you? One year away from the outside world. You're semi-adult. It doesn't mean you can look semi-human, does it? Well, let's see it off by tomorrow. It's not against school rules. No, And you've both got moustaches. Yeah. And when you're capable of growing one, we'll have no objection. Because comes that happy day, you'll be long gone from Grange Hill. Until then, don't make yourself look ridiculous. Shave it off. On second thoughts, don't bother to shave it off. Stick your head out in the corridor, the draft will blow it off. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Greaves. Miss? E2. So just stay where you are. No more fuss. 